This is one of the cool tricks with Excel charts is overlapping of graphs in Excel. Okay, so the reason why we want to overlap graphs in Excel is we want to compare two data sets in a single chart or a single graph. So in our example over here, we have the actual values, right? And then we have the planned values as well, right? So we want to, let's say you're trying to start an estimate, you're trying to estimate for something, the cost, right? And then once the actual cost has been retrieved or once you have the actual numbers, then you can just plot them over here so that you can quickly compare on how accurate your planning is, okay? So we have our data over here. We have the actual numbers over here. So it could be actual costs, right? And then this is the planned cost as well right and then you want to show it in the graph so that you can quickly see on how accurate you are or how far off you are over here right you can see the light colored columns over here representing the actual and then we have the bordered ones over here as the planned numbers and it's really visual and it's really beautiful to look at okay so let's recreate this overlapping graphs over here I mean, at first it could be overwhelming. It looks to be a difficult thing to do, but this is actually a very easy process. Okay. So first things first is let's select our table over here. Let's go to insert, go to recommended charts. Let's go to all charts. Okay. And we will be selecting the clustered column. Okay. So this is the one that we want. And right now they're not overlapping yet. Okay. So just click OK. This one's good. Let's make this bigger. Now we want to delete the gray lines just for visible preferences. So I've already deleted them. And then select the plan graph series. Okay. So the plan graph series is actually color red. So let's select this. Now just right click on it and go to format data series. Okay. Now let's have some fun here. So what we want to do is to make sure that this one has no fill. Okay, so this is the one that we want to just have a border. So let's go to fill, right? Over here, make sure it's no fill. Okay, so you can see now it's it's gone. The contents are gone and then go to border. And then let's select our border color to make it, make it dark. Okay, and make sure that the solid line is selected. And then what else do we have is we can also change the border style, right? To have two points for our width. So let's make it, let's make it thicker. Okay. It's looking good. Now it's really visual over here. Now let's go to the actual graph series. So let's select the actual series, right? If you somehow close the format data series, it's very easy to show it again. Just right click on it select format data series and it will show up. Now let's make some changes as well. Let's go to fill. Okay. And then go for a solid fill and we can now change the color. Let's say, let's go for the color orange and you can see, right? This is now color orange for the actual values. And here's where the magic will happen. Let's go to series options, which is over here. Okay and then make sure that the series overlap is a hundred percent once you do that now the values will overlap for both of them right for both the actual and the planned values and with that you can easily compare now the actual and the planned numbers right on how far off or how close you are so for example in july that's perfect it's very very close but you could tell that on june it's pretty far off right on your numbers so you could quickly see from here and then once we're good with this one let me just delete the chart title and now you have your overlapping graphs g'day it's john michaelis here the chief inspirational officer and founder at myaccelerline.com and i hope that you enjoyed this video that we just showed you if you did then give it a thumbs up it just lets us know to create more of the same Excel videos for you so you can get better at Excel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get new Excel videos each and every week. And finally, we want you to join our flagship 
online Excel course. It's called the My Excel Online Academy. And you get all of our Excel courses. You get our Excel beginner, intermediate, and advanced courses. We go through over 500 Excel videos, which teach you formulas, macros, VBA, pivot tables, Power BI, Power Query, Power Pivot, charts, formatting, access, and much more because we add new videos each and every month. You also can download all our Excel workbooks and keep so you can practice. And you also get a certificate of course completion. Plus, you're going to get six bonuses when you sign up to our academy course. You get our dedicated teacher support. You get access to all our Excel webinars. You get quarterly live Q and A's. You can join our private Facebook group. You also join our private Excel forum. And we're also going to mail out to you an exclusive academy welcome pack. So if you want to get better at Excel and stand out from your peers and stand out from the crowd so you can get noticed by top management and receive the promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click below in the description and join the My Excel Academy online course so you can get better at Excel today.